And with that breaking news moments ago, Governor Cuomo announcing children will return to classrooms statewide in the fall. This is on the day of a crucial deadline for parents in New York City. CBS News' Andrea Klein Thomas joining us live from the Upper West Side with the breaking details. Well, Mary, now that the governor has weighed in that difficult decision about whether or not schools, students will return to school in person is now left with the parents. And so many tell me that it all comes down to safety. Today is the deadline for New York City parents to decide if their children will attend school entirely online or opt instead for a hybrid model that includes in-person classes and remote learning. We're thinking about their emotional growth, their educational growth, but also thinking about their safety and safety of our loved ones. But many parents say they still need more information and find the current plans do not provide enough reassurance. The plan is not good. No one is happy. Parents aren't happy. Teachers aren't happy. Uh, school administrators are working so hard to make this work. The mayor tried to address those concerns. In the course of the next couple of weeks, you're going to get all the details about your school's schedule template and then your individual child's schedule. I think most parents feel strongly that even some time in school is a lot better for their kids than none. Despite the outcome, grandfather Luis Plaza and his family have made up their minds. For us, it's better <laughs> to keep protecting. We take care really well. His grandkids are staying home in the fall and will attend classes entirely online. Now, the success of in person learning depends on teachers and staff, and some of them have shared some concerns. Now, we asked the Department of Education, but they refused to give us the information about how many will return to school buildings in just the next few weeks. Reporting live from the Upper West Side, Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thanks so much. We'll continue.